Hi YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. It's good to see you and it's good to be seen. We spend so much of our lives on the go, just doing and thinking and cooking and working and being and I've just been at the point where I just want to exist. You look up and realize how much time has really passed, seasons change, and so I just wanna do what I love and love on the people that I love. That's it. So. With that being said, let's catch up over the last few months and also talk about where we go from here. Let's enjoy the ride. fam long time no see it has been a minute um my hair looks a little frazzled because i got rained on i'm not going to go into a whole explanation as to why it's been forever since we've seen each other but i will say long story short i lost my sd card to my camera and it's a micro sd card and i've been looking for months for it it has literally at least six months of footage on that SD card I have no idea where it is but honestly I feel that there's a reason why I have not found it why I'm not supposed to find it and maybe it's because like that footage and the content does not align with where I am presently and what's happening now this year I really want to commit more to the things that I love doing and the things that impact and the things that empower and I think a lot of my content 
and the videos that I've put out have not always been reflective of that because of hiding, fear, um, inconsistency, like just a range of different things. But ultimately it's been this like desire to express and create, but not the desire to be seen or to be um, just perceived. And so I think that I'm over a lot of those things now. And I think that when you get past that hurdle as a creative, it definitely changes the way that you create, the way that you work, the way that you express. And so I wanna lean into all of those good things. And so maybe that's why I have not found this SD card. I personally have been online making videos and short and long form videos for, I would say the last eight to 10 years. And when I was in my twenties, it was like, it was cool. Cause it's like, okay, I'm expressing myself. I'm sharing during that time. I was more so like sharing recipes and stuff. And honestly, y'all, I just kind of got burned out extremely like, burned out extremely because I felt sorry. I don't have a tripod or anything. I'm just like holding this phone. Um, I just got burned out and I started to question if what I was doing was important, if it was necessary, like what makes this important and necessary in the world? How does this impact someone's life? You know, those are the questions that I'm asking myself and 20 something year old Gabrielle would answer that question differently than now 30 something year old Gabrielle, you know? And then on top of that, life just changing and evolving and my nieces getting older and spending time with family and health challenges and just real life stuff, you know? It's just like, it alters the chemistry a little bit. It alters um, the ability to show up in the way that you usually do. And so that has been a lot of what I've had to overcome to get to this point to even do this video. And I was just like, I don't have my camera or whatever. I'm just gonna get on my iPhone and just talk because that's where it starts. I never was structuring my execution based on seasons. Not every season is for a harvest. Not every season is for winning. Some seasons are for resting. Some seasons are for hibernating and nurturing yourself. And I, I just was never really moving like that, which is terrible. It's not healthy. And so now I'm, I've just been in the process of relearning how to take care of myself not just financially and like feeling this weight as an entrepreneur, but in other ways too, like how do I steward my mind, my thoughts, um, my desires, my frequency, um, my aura, my femininity, like all of those things have been in the process of being refined and it's not a cute process, but it is beautiful on the, on the other side because I just have so much clarity about things and I, I have so much peace about just life. I feel optimistic. I feel joyful. Um, and I feel like I'm chilling too. Like I'm just in a neutral space, you know? And I just wanted to share that with someone who might be learning the seasons but i just wasn't calendaring myself i was always just doing stuff filling time filling space moving around grinding and a lot of that is like coming from survival truly like having to survive and take care of yourself um especially like when you don't have that cushion you don't have those resources you didn't grow up with those resources you just always feel like you have to be on and making it happen and so for the first time in my life like i'm making it happen but i'm also chilling and i'm also not forcing things 
because I want them when I want them. I only want things that are for me when it's time because those are the best. So just wanted to talk a little deeper and continue to do these things in a way that is not too vulnerable, you know, for me, but still impacts and still offers a layer of just visibility and seenness and connectedness between us while we're talking about food and restaurants and travel and lifestyle and design and stories also this stuff too and that's just the place that i've been at and so now that i'm in a space of like receiving and also giving I'm giving from a different place, from a different um, perspective, a different mindset. And I hope that you can identify with it in this new content and the new videos that I'll be putting out. Um, I'll keep you posted on here. Definitely always on my Instagram and my TikTok at Gabrielle McBay. Hey, TikTok been going up. My TikTok been going up. So if you're on TikTok, on the talk, Follow me over there. I've been kind of getting some stuff off over there, creating a different type of vibe and community over there, but it's been fun. Okay, let's get to the reason why I'm in this room. Um, in LA, I honestly, y'all, when I tell you, my schedule has been different like every week. I have kind of just been really truly bi-coastal kind of back and forth, um, which is fine because I just think that that's the season of life I'm in and I'm okay with just like head down working like grinding getting it but i'm in la and i got invited to the microsoft lounge um, in culver city and so went to their office or their headquarters and learned about their co-pilot software which is basically like their generative ai software similar to like chat gpt and open ai and and different forms of artificial intelligence and so i was interested in going because i'm like microsoft literally was here before apple before all of these other things like it's been microsoft and so if i'm going to listen to any information about ai technology um the progress of the future i would love for that to be at the microsoft office and it was such a vibe like I think because I've known that Microsoft is one of those older classic technology and software companies, I was just like, oh, it's probably going to be like office -y. you know, it's going to be like office and techy. And I get in there and I'm like, oh, this is a vibe. Like it's groovy. The seating in the seminar felt like we were sitting in a living room, um, just really cool colors, warm. It was cute. It was very cute. Definitely let me know what you've been up to in the comments. Maybe just some different lessons that you've been learning. Stay tuned. I'll be posting soon. It's good to talk to you. It's good to be back. Well, I won't even say back. I've always been here, okay? Sometimes she's just quiet. In a convo, you're not always talking. Sometimes you're listening. Sometimes you're, you know, just there's a pause. So it's just a pause. She's always been here, though. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Peace, love, and good food to you. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all. Good night. So one is always including an action, which feels a little obvious if you were to ask a friend to do something for you, you want to be very specific on what that is, but it's not really intuitive with computer systems, right? But this is one thing that we see people miss a lot. So always include what that action is, whether it's you know creating an email, creating an image, uh, you know drafting a letter, you want to make sure there's a specific verb in there. Two, and maybe most important, is setting the stage with as much context as possible. So, you know, when you, you know, search, uh, you know, within a search engine, you probably only give like a couple of words, right? You've kind of learned how to speak search. You kind of have to unlearn that with a lot of the generative AI products, right? You want to speak to it like you're having a conversation with someone. And a really important part of that 
what you kind of miss when you go from talking to a person to talking to a computer system is context, right? If you want you to explain something to someone, you want to give them all those details in the upfront because that's going to help Copilot understand your intent much better as if you didn't do that. Um, and we'll get to an example in a minute. But the last one here is tailoring the delivery. Um, Copilot can give you a variety of different formats. So if you needed something in a quick bullet points, it could do that. If you wanted 500 words on something, it could do that. All you have to do is ask it in that initial prompt. Now you know that I could not leave this video without showing you what I've had good to eat. This is at Chinto Pasta Bar in West Adams, which is one of my favorite neighborhoods in LA. It just has such good culture, good people, and really good food. I love this restaurant. The staff was on point. This hamachi crudo is the best that I've experienced. It had finely minced Granny Smith apple, lemongrass, and coconut milk. Oh, I could have so many plates of that. My sour cherry limeade mocktail. I literally could have had like three more of those if they weren't $14 each. The food here was delicious. Literally one of the best dinners I've had in a long time. I'm on a hunt for the best sweet corn agnolotti and so far this one is topping my number one because this agnolotti was textbook perfect. Great job, Chinto Pasta Bar. They have got a groove going on over there. So that's what I've had good to eat. I appreciate y'all watching this video. I will see you very, very soon. Leave some love in the comments and leave what you've been up to. And I'll see you next time. Peace, love, and good food.